morning, everybody. I'm Jackie Green from the Chatham County Council on Aging. We are so glad that you've decided to spend part of, time, part of your time with us, um, whether or not you're on Zoom here with me live this morning or on Facebook um, doing a recording. Please, if you, if you join us on Facebook, please make a comment if you're doing the class with us because I do keep attendance for the people that attend. And I do like to know who joins us for Facebook. Um, because then that way we kind of keep track of how many people we are reaching. So we do really appreciate that. So this morning, what you can expect is we're going to, we're going to be done here about five minutes to 10. Um, so we've got, we'll have about 45, 50 minutes worth of class here this morning because we're getting a little bit later start. Um, we'll do warm up. We will do um, some stretching. We'll do some, some um, strength work. We'll do some balance and we'll end up with some um, ex uh, stretching and relaxation. So, Let's go ahead without further ado and get started here. Let me get some, let's get some rhythm here. And just so you know, the reason I don't use um, songs is because when we stream on Facebook, if I use a song, what they do is they, for, for copyright reasons, they make it all funky, but they don't do that if I do that with just a beat. So that's why I use just a beat and not actual songs. Just so you know why I do what I do. There is right or reason. May not be the best right or reason, but it's right or reason. So, please make sure you pay attention to how your body is feeling every day. We always, all of us feel different each day. Pay attention to what joints might hurt. Pay attention to what muscles may be sore. Pay attention to your rate of perceived exertion. You want to be somewhere between four and seven. If you're above seven, means you couldn't hold a conversation as you do this. Um, I do encourage you to count as you do this, as we do the exercises. That way, we know you're breathing. Um, make sure you have a phone nearby in case you have a problem. Because I can't call for you. I can't call nine one one for you. Well, for the people that are at Zoom, I could. Um, Please make sure you're paying attention. If you're a fall risk, please remain seated. Um, our Monday and Thursday class at 10 o'clock is really meant more for people that are seated, but you can also do that stand up. So, and you're welcome to do this class and please stand, sit and seated. So, um, let's go ahead. I'm going to turn my camera down just a tad. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring my other screen out today. No wonder everybody looks a little small. It is what it is. All right, here we go. We'll do our eight, eight, and eight. We'll start with our eight, our eight marches, our eight wide, wide, narrow, narrows, our eight knee steps, followed by our eight knee dips. So here we go. Start left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Two, three. You can reach out if you want. Get your shoulders warmed up. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, go into a B step. Forward, forward, back, back. Two, three, reach up a little further each time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You little need to make sure you're sitting back so that your knees don't go forward in front of your toes. Slow shoulder roll. Five. Six, seven, eight, left arm back and forward. Two, follow your eyes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, both arms back, type of style. Open up that chest, stretch out those shoulders. Three, make sure you're still sitting back as you're doing, your belly's tight. Five, six, Seven, eight, hands on the thighs. Roll up to cat. Tip down to cat. Roll up and exhale. Two, and down. Three, pull those hips forward as you exhale. You come up. Five, four, that's good. Six, seven, and eight. We're going to go side to side. We're going to right shoulder forward, drop the foot back, hold in the middle, switch to the other side. You're looking around towards your, towards your tushy. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Back up to a march. Okay, back up. Start with the right leg. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wide body near an arrow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. My husband is walking through mocking me. <laughs> Four, <laughs> five, six. He's not, a, he's not an aerobic kind of guy. <laughs> So now go into 
the runner stretch. Make sure that back knee, that back heel is not turned in. Okay. So if I was to turn to the side, it looks like this, right? And then hinge forward at the hips, push that back to the tail. Okay. And feel that stretch all the way down that back leg. And you can leave your hand here. I still have a hand on the chair just to be careful. Okay. Now go ahead and bend that back knee. Push that heel backwards so you feel the stretch way down in the soleus muscle. Okay. All right. Come on back up. We're going to switch to the other leg. Okay. So go to the other side of your chair. Or trying to hear where we're going to be. Okay. So now you're going to bend your left leg. Your right leg is out straight. Kick that left hip back. So you should feel a stretch in that hip as well. Make sure this hip is staying in and it's not going way out to the left, okay? So point it up, belly tight, elbow is pushed back, okay? Hand down towards the leg, bring your chest towards your thigh. Feel that wonderful stretch all the way down your leg. Make sure that that left knee is behind that left toe, okay? Feel that wonderful stretch. Come on up. Transfer the weight to the front foot. Bring the back foot back. Okay. The back heel you can use is not turned in. We turn again this way. Okay. So we're up. We're leaning to the front leg. Hinge at the hip. Belly is tight. Keep pushing that back heel down. Feel that stretch all the way down the back of that leg. Like you did before, you can be warrior here if you want. Breathe. Bend the back knee, lift the back heel, push the back heel back, stretch out that soleus muscle. Breathe. Come on up. All right, let's go ahead and sit in the chair. We're going to stretch our inner thighs. I don't have my headset on today either. Sorry about that. All right, legs apart, elbows on the inner thighs, breathe, oh man, that feels good today. Come on up, left hand on the outside of the right knee, right hand on the back of the chair, twist to the right. Chin as far around as you can. Release. Right hand on the outside of the left leg. Left hand on the back of the chair. Turn to the left. Breathe. All right. Come center. Let's bring our hands up over behind our head. Pull our elbows back. Stretch down that chest. Exhale and bring the elbows together. And exhale. Inhale, bring the elbows back. Exhale, bring them together. Inhale, bring back. Exhale, together. All right, let's get up and do a little bit more cardio before we go into street work. So I'm going to get my chair out of the way. Let's get a drink before we go too much farther. Mark to the place. I'm going to see if I can really find my headset. That'll make it easier. Alright, mark to the place. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Side tap. Okay, let's do it with the arm swing. Let's do eight. Here we go. We'll do eight, then we'll go in. The eight um, heel uh, hamstring curls, pull back. Here we go. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hamstring curl. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull back. Hamstring curl. One, two. Nice and strong. Three, four, five, six, seven. Pull back, pull down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull back, 
Pull back again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull back again for four. We're making four. Two, three, four. Pull down for four. Two, three. Pull back for four. One, two, three. Up for four. One, two, three. Pull everything two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, let's keep going. We'll do singles, okay? And let's do some doubles here. We'll do eight doubles, ready to go. Double, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Single, single, double, single. Single, double, one, single, single, double for two, single, single, double for three, single, single, double for four, single, single, double for five, single, single, double for six, single, single, double for seven, single, single, double for five, single, for eight, single. Oh, let's go to ten. <laughs> All right, let's go to March. Sorry, I was looking at my screen. I couldn't see the recording button was still on. I thought I screwed something up. All right, let's do heel digs. Okay. All right. Now let's do crisscross arms. Okay. Heel digs. Do eight each different level. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, your height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way up. One, two, and stretch here. Four, five, six. Seven, diagonally up again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoulder height. One, two. Make sure you don't cross your body. Helps build the frame. Six, six, seven, eight. Diagonally down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everything four. Ready? One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. Everything two. Here we go. One, two. One, two, 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 and march. All right. I feel like I'm still the headless horseman. I don't know why my computer is so touchy today. All right. Let's do our jump ropes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bigger circles. One, two, three. See if you can lift your knees a little higher. Four, five, four, six, seven. Bigger yet? Higher yet? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Smaller. One, two. Three. When we do it fast, we're going to do two sets of eight. Six, seven. Here we go. Fast as you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 
Make sure you count three, four, five, six, seven, bigger yet, one, two, higher yet, four, five, six, seven, bigger yet, higher, two, three, four, five, six, seven, smaller, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, six, to eight, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, crisscross, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bigger yet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bigger yet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's do two sets smaller, two, three, four, five, six, one more smaller before we go fast, one, two, three, four, five, six, two sets fast, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, big deep breath, legs moving, again, exhale down, one more time, make sure you exhale completely, roll the shoulders back, Woo, that feels good today, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Weekend, a little bit more work. All right. So let's do three steps forward and a kick. Three steps back and a touch. We'll start with the left leg. Make sure you got room to move forward and backward. Ready? Left leg. Go. One, two, three. Kick. Back. Two, three. Touch. Two, or three, four. Uh, if you go higher and lower, six on the next one. Make sure your knees stay behind your toes. Seven, all right, six, seven, I missed, you it up. Eight, bigger and smaller if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, higher, lower if you want. I meant to say earlier. One. Two, three, four, five. Make sure you're counting. Six, that way you know you're breathing. Seven, eight, and march. All right, same thing, right leg. Start with the right. Here we go. Right, left, right, kick. Two, three, four. Five, move your arms a lot if you need more work. Six, seven, eight, again, higher, lower to one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, higher, lower if you want. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, and back to a march. All right, how you guys feeling? Feeling good? Yes. Are you hearing me out, Debbie? <laughs> <laughs> you doing good? All right, good, good. Just making sure. All right, let's do a little different today. Let's do a side tap again. With an arm swing. Do you guys have room to do double sides? Can you do two sets to the side? You may need to turn a little differently, but let's do eight and then we'll do a double. See if we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double left, double. Oop, I gotta move in with my chair. Two, three, you take the smaller circles if you want. Testing your Testing your mobility there, Larry, and you're figuring out your space limitations. Six, seven, eight, another set of 
doubles, or maybe a double side to side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back to center and arch. All right. Let's do some stair climbers. Now, uh, some ladder climbers. Alternating arms and legs. Up, up, four, five, six, seven. Now, if that's too much, you can do, you can reach forward if you want. Okay, either way, it's fine. Five, six, seven, six, seven, seven, seven. Another set of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to measure one more set of eight. One. Two, we're almost at the top of the mountain. We're going to Stone Mountain. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And Mark's nice big deep breath. Exhale down. Another big deep breath. Exhale down. All right. Keep your feet moving. Go ahead and get a drink. Oh, look, my shirt and my water bottle match. <laughs> that was planned. All right. Go ahead and get your weights. And your hand. Woo. Okay, pour me out sometimes. It's good for us. Um, before we go any farther, let's do the keep our, our let's get our feet moving and let's do the stop side stretch since we're gonna be using weights. Okay. I like to stretch out our, our arms, our hands, our fingers before we start this part. Just keep your feet moving so you're keeping your heart rate up. Hold them down, cover those middle knuckles, pull back your hand. Notice I don't have my hand down here, I'm covering those knuckles so that I'm not stressing those knuckles. Woo! All right, it's your chance. Pull back. Oh, it feels so good. Hold it down, pull it back. All right. All right, while we're here, anchor your elbows, palms up, out, and in. We'll loosen it up the shoulder rotators. Four, five, Six, seven, eight. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pick up our weights. Now, you're welcome to keep your feet moving as we do some of these, okay? Otherwise, you can always plant your feet shoulder width apart. Regardless, make sure your belly is tight, your tailbone is tucked, okay? Our bicep curls, here we go. Ready? One. Two, think bicep up, tricep down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to go to 15 if we can. 10, you need to stop. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Rest and hold. Means rest your knees on your hips, roll your shoulders. Okay? As we do that, let's go ahead and look over the left shoulder. Straight ahead, look over the right shoulder. Keep the feet moving. Straight ahead, over the left shoulder. Straight ahead, over the right shoulder. Straight ahead, back into another set of bicep curls. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, again, bicep up, tricep down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop if you need to. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Rest the arms on the waist, roll the shoulders. Again, look over the left shoulder, straight ahead and over the right shoulder. Straight ahead, over the left shoulder. Straight ahead, over the right shoulder. 
Okay, we're going to do um, front lifts. Okay, so the palms are facing backwards, arms are being straight the entire time. Directly up in front of your nose. Arms stay straight though. Down, up, three, four. Again, no momentum. It's pure lifting power. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Another twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This time we're going to go right into the shoulder presses. So bring your weights up to your shoulders. We're going directly overhead. Bring it directly over your head and back down. So push straight up and through. Two, three, straight up. Four belly tight, elbow tucked. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Again, one. Make believe you're pushing up that ceiling. It's taking all your effort. Two. Three, that way if the weights aren't quite heavy enough, you're still working your muscles hard. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve, rest your weight, bring your weights down, rest them on your hands, roll the shoulder. This one is going to bring your chin down and center, down and center. Keep rolling the shoulders if you want, down and center. One more time, down and center. All right, this time we're doing our lateral lifts. We're doing them out to the side. All right, Patty, we'll do pitcher fours. <laughs> Yay! Very awesome. Up, arm, up, and down. Two, make sure you're counting. Three, relax the neck, four, even though the belly's tight. Five, six, seven, eight, do what you can. If you need to stop, there's no harm in that. Nine, just do what you can. I just want to challenge everybody. Ten. Got two more, 11. I can feel these, I don't know about you. One more, 12. Woo! All right, rest the arms, roll the shoulders. All right, come down and put your hands on your thighs and do your cat cow. Cat cow as you, as you arch your back, pull the shoulders forward. And your back, pull the shoulders back. Just another way to work it, that's all. So it's like I'm flapping my shoulders in and then I'm moving my shoulders out, okay? Giving those a chance to relax. All right. How do you guys feel? Let's do something a little easier. Let's do our shoulder rotators. Ready? Out, in, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Rest and roll. All right. Now we're going to do the triceps. Okay. Let's do the triceps seated. Okay. So we're going to sit in your chair and we're going to face the side. So this time we're going to face to the right and we're going to be working our left tricep. So you're gonna take your right arm and you're gonna rest your right forearm on your right thigh, okay? That protects your lower back. You're gonna take the weight in your left hand, you're gonna bend the elbow, you're gonna anchor it against your, your side, okay? Then you're gonna bring the weight straight back, lift it just a little bit. Notice that my, your upper arm should remain entirely against your side for the entire exercise. 
So this doesn't move. I'm not lifting this and lowering this. This remains anchored. So you bend your, your weight up to your shoulder, you straighten it, you lift a little bit, and then you bend. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Good form, vocabulary. Seven. You two, Patty. Try to lean a little bit more forward, Patty. Eight. The upper body should be a 45 degree angle to your thighs. Nine. And 10. Let's go to 12. Can you feel that tricep yet? 11. And 12. Okay, let's turn to the other side. So we're turning to the left. We're going to lean with our left forearm on our left thigh. Make sure the belly's tight. You're at a 45 degree angle between the body and your leg. Anchor the elbow to your side with your right arm. Straighten and lift. And bend. Two. Three. You can do a little squeeze of the hand weight when you fully lift it here. Five. Six. Seven. Really concentrate on that tricep as you lift it in the back. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Larry, try not to move that upper arm. That upper arm stays in one place. All right. It's easy to get that going as a, as a pendulum, but we don't want the arm as a pendulum because we're really trying to work just that muscle in the back of the arm. All right. Let's spread our legs apart. We're going to do upward row. So with our arms, with our legs out, we can lean forward at 45 again. Belly is tight. And lift and down. Two, keep the wrist straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Make sure you're counting. And twelve. Rest your arms, roll your shoulders. Let's do some pitcher pours as we're seated. Okay, another set of 12 if you can. Ready? Lift, four, up, and down. Two. Three. Four. Make sure your neck is relaxed. Five. Make those arms do the work, not the neck. Six. Belly's tight. Seven. Nine, ten, 
11. Who feels it? 12. <laughs> Take it out. All right. Go ahead and go back to the left leg. Turn the toe out. Toes out like this. Okay. Again, the weights on your leg if you want to. Or do without the weights. Either way is fine. Ready? We'll do 10. Ready? One. Two. It works the inner muscles of the thigh. Two. Three. Four. Upper body remains stationary. Five. Six. Seven. Woo. Eight. <laughs> Nine and ten. Switch to the other leg. Ready? One. Those pointing out. Two. Three. Four. Belly still tight. Tailbone is still tight. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Go back to the first leg. We're going to turn the toe in, so we're done for pigeon toe, okay, same thing, ready, one, two, so it works the outside muscle of the leg, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, switch legs, Toes pointing in again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. All right. Crisscross the weights over your arms or over your chest. We're going to tighten our belly. Okay, I'll turn to the side so you can see. Tuck the tailbone under, lean back, and pull forward. Use those belly muscles. Two. Let's count as you move forward. Three. Three. Tighten those belly muscles as much as you can. Four. Five. Make sure you keep the tailbone tucked in the back. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and last one, and ten. All right. Rest the weights for a second. Arms on the back of the chair, lean forward. All right. Weights again if you want. You don't have to use them if you don't want. We're going to do crisscrosses. So this time what we're going to do is if you have your arms up, you're going to take your left shoulder and move it to the right knee and you're going to lift the right knee. Okay, and then you alternate. Okay, so we'll look at the obliques. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. You can actually take, if you want, you can use your weights. Five, six. I think I counted one because I can't. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, we'll go to twenty, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Very good. Put the weights down. Hold the shoulders back. Let's bring the arms of our legs marching here. Bring the right left arm out to the side. Bring it across this time. Bring your hand up and over. Pull that arm in. Breathe. Relax the arm down. Bring the arm up to the middle of the back. Bring the right arm up from the bottom. See if you can meet the middle. So it's important when you work on strength training that you also keep your flexibility. So when you're doing strength training, you tend to shorten the muscles and you want to stretch your back out so that they're fully functioning. Right arm out to the side, bring it across, left arm up and over, pull it in. Relax the arm down, up and over, hands in the middle of the back, the other hand up from the bottom, see if you can meet in the middle. You're really working on the stretching of the shoulders. On 
unwind and relax the figure. To turn the hands inside out. Reach up as far as you can. Knee over to the side. Center, inhale, go to the other side. Exhale, center, one more time to the right, inhale. Exhale, center, one more time to the left. Very good. Hands on the back of the chair, lean forward, stretch out that chest. Left hand on the outside of the right knee, right hand on the back of the chair, switch to the right. Hold on just a second. Hi, Shirley. I'm sorry you're joining us. We're just wrapping up, Shirley. We're doing our stretches at the end. We started at 9 on Monday, on Tuesdays and Fridays. Okay, switch to the other side. Right hand on the outside of the left knee. Left hand on the back. Turn to the side. Come center, legs apart. Elbows, your hands on the inside of the knees. Stretch out those inner thighs. You can put your hands, you can have your whole forearms inside your, a hole of your legs if you want. It's entirely your choice. You just want to make sure you're feeling the stretch on the inner thighs. Line up. Place the left, the right knee over the right heel. Bring the left leg up. Sit tall and proud, belly tight, tailbone tuck, press the hand between the shin and the knee and on the thigh. Sit that leg down and stretch it out the hip. You're tall and proud with your torso, then take a hinge of the hips and bring your chest towards your thighs. You'll stretch a little bit deeper. Glad you decided to join us, Cheryl. Maybe we can talk when we're done and figure out and make sure everything is okay on your end. Come on back up, switch legs, make sure the left heel is under the left knee from front to back and look to the right and bring the leg up. Sandy, check that heel position, the knee position. Press down between your shin and your thigh to get that hip open a little bit more. You're tall and proud, your belly tight, your tailbone's tucked, you're going to hinge at the hips and bring your chest towards your thighs. Feel that wonderful stretch in your hip. Come on back up. Let's go ahead and turn to the right. Your left hip goes off the chair. You're going to bring that left leg back. You're going to stretch out the front of that thigh on the left leg. You can do it. You can either do it straight back or grab the ankle and pull the leg up. Either way, whatever, however you, whatever you need to do to get the stretch, but make sure you take the tailbone forward like bad dogs so you stretch your hip flexor too. Breathe. Release, and turn to the other side. Same thing on the other side. Oh man, that looks good. Belly's tight, tailbone's tucked. Bye and hip flexor stretch. And relax, come forward. Roll the shoulders. Roll the wrists. So the other way with the wrist, so I'm going to close the hands. That feels good after holding those, holding those weights. Lay the piano up and down the keyboard, get all those fingers working. All right. We turn off the beat and we're going to have our relaxation. So go ahead and sit back in your chair. You're welcome to close your eyes if you want. What you want to do is make sure you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth and you're focusing on relaxing your entire body. What I'd like you to do today is after you inhale, let's make the shh noise as we exhale, because I find that that helps me relax quicker than anything. So inhale with a noisy exhale. Shh. Inhale and exhale as long as you possibly can. Keep doing that. And now as you do it, try to pause between your inhale and your exhale, and then your exhale and your inhale. So you have a slight pause between each one. 
makes you more aware of your breath and it helps you relax further. Notice that the longer you exhale, the more and more relaxed your shoulders get and the lower they get as you exhale longer and longer. Let that complete relaxation encompass your whole body. Breathe normally for a minute. That's right, if you want to move your neck, you can move your neck a little bit. When you're ready, open your eyes. Notice how relaxed your entire body is. Just kind of relax in that suspension. Just feeling light and peaceful. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Take a nice inhale, raise your arms up. Reach high, then exhale and bring your arms all the way down. Exhale completely. Inhale all the way up, bring fingertip to fingertip, palm to palm. Bring your hands down together into prayer position as you exhale. Inhale as you raise your arms and raise a thought or a prayer. Exhale, bring your arms together, down. Inhale, bring your arms up around in a hug. Remind yourself that you're safe and you're healthy. Really feel that hug around you. Exhale, bring your arms out as far as you can to your side. Then crisscross them the other way in a hug as you inhale. Give yourself another hug. Remind yourself that you're loved, you're valued, you have purpose and exhale. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. You guys worked really hard today. I want you to see an improvement in how you're feeling and how much more you can do, but don't ever go past what you feel comfortable doing. So I'm trying to challenge you, but I want you to make sure that you feel comfortable with what you're doing. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you back again on Tuesday and Friday. And we do have Dennis's call at 10.15 this morning. It's just Friday if you decide you'd like to join us. Thanks so much, everybody. Love you all. Bye-bye. Love you, too.